Yo, what's cracking everybody? Hopefully you guys are having an absolutely amazing day when you're seeing this video. And as the title says, you know, in this video today, we're going to be talking about how you can go ahead and legally enable an auto clicker on iOS. Now I am going to preface this video by just saying if you have any sort of fear or uncertainty with going about using any sort of an auto clicker when it comes to securing DB drops, you do not have to do what I'm saying in this video, especially if you have that, you know, kind of fear or uncertainty. But one thing that I will say is that this is very, very different than using a bot to secure drops or any sort of an external auto clicker that you might see, you know, a lot of Android users using and getting temporarily banned for. With that being said, let's go ahead and dive right into the video. This is going to be a tutorial and it's all going to be done through the accessibility settings. So without further ado, I'll see you guys on the phone. All right, guys, so here we are on the phone. And just again, to, to preface this, all of this is going to be done on the settings of your device. So first things first, all right, if I open up VV, uh, ideally, I actually wanted the Pixar drop to already be here so that I could record it and show you guys a real example. Uh, but just because it's not here, we're just gonna go ahead and get this out as soon as possible for you guys. And we're just gonna use a previous drop that happened earlier this afternoon. So let's go ahead and jump over to our settings here. First thing you're gonna do is go ahead and go into your accessibility. Everything that we're gonna be doing here today is going to be within your switch control. Uh, now, if we go into switch control here, first thing that you're gonna wanna do is make sure that you do have a switch enabled. If you don't, all you're gonna do is click on add new switch. You're gonna click on screen and then full screen. Now, because I already have it, it's already there. All right, but once that's done, okay, you're gonna just back out of that. And what you're actually gonna to wanna to do is come over to your accessibility settings, go down to where it says accessibility shortcut. All right, now in accessibility shortcut, make sure that you have both of these things checked off, the assistive touch, as well as switch control. This is crucial. Make sure that you're following everything that I'm saying so that you don't have to you know, worry about uh, any sort of a switch control accident where you literally can't do shit on your phone. So make sure that both of these are selected. And what this is gonna do is depending on your phone, you're either gonna be able to triple click the power button or triple click your home button and it's gonna come up with both of these options. Okay, so just keep this in mind for now. Once you've got this set up, you can go ahead and move to the next step. Coming back to the switch control settings here, what you're gonna wanna do is create a recipe. So in the switch control settings, go ahead and click recipes. What you're gonna do is go ahead and click create new recipe. Now you can name this whatever you want. Uh, I'm gonna name this auto clicker, okay? There's two examples I'm gonna show you guys. This is the first one, all right? Now what you're gonna do is go to assign a switch. You're gonna click full screen, and then you're gonna go to custom gesture. When you're here, okay, this is where you can basically just tap anywhere on screen and it's going to create a tap uh, sequence, okay? So this is just an example. We're gonna hit cancel there, go back into it. All right, but what it might look like is you spamming in the same spot over and over again, and then clicking save. Just for an example, okay, I'm gonna go back out and choose launch recipe and now click the auto clicker that we just did. You guys don't have to follow along with this. This is just to visually show you what's good. Now I'm gonna triple click. I'm gonna choose assistive touch, triple click. I'm gonna choose switch control. It is very crucial that before drops, you're doing it in this order, okay? Really, really crucial. And now I can click anywhere on the screen and it's going to auto tap exactly where I've created that gesture. As you guys can see right there, that is the sequence of taps that I had with our example, okay? So when you wanna get out of this, right, you'll notice that you can't swipe up, you can't do anything when you're in switch control. Uh, so all you're gonna do is triple click your home button or your power button, and that's going to allow you to escape from the switch control. Now let's go ahead and back out. I'm gonna go back into auto clicker because I wanna make this more proper for you guys because that was just an example. All right, let's see how fine tuned we can really get it here. Okay, I'm gonna go into full screen, custom gesture. 
Now, if you're having a hard time leaving this screen to go to the VV app to really line things up, this is why it's important to have your assistive touch because then what you can do is just go like this, boom, back to home screen. So now let's go into the VV app. Let's just say that this is a blind box format drop. This is my personal favorite for using this particular auto clicker, guys. This is really, really huge, super, you know, hopefully you guys are having a breakthrough as you're seeing this video because as you guys know, I'm gonna screenshot this here. As you guys know, this is usually where the buy now button will be. Now, obviously it's not gonna say sold out. It won't even show a buy now button in a lot of cases. But this is kind of the area where normally you're going to want to be aiming on a blind box. If you don't know that, you know, I'm sure you'll 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 see that with the next blind box experience where you're you know usually gonna be spamming is right in between uh, the description of the uh, uh, that particular collectible. What I'm gonna do for this example is exactly what I've done here is, is I've highlighted an area right in between where the buy now button is and this little description here. So this is what we're gonna use as an example. Again, it's not super ideal because this is a drop that already came out, but either way, what I'm gonna do is hold down my finger right where I want my spam to be. So right here is where I'm going to hold down my finger and then go back to that custom gesture screen so that as I'm there, I can just spam exactly where that point was. One, two, three, four, five, click save right away as quick as you can. And now if we go to that app, as long as you have the launch recipe set to that auto clicker, you're gonna triple click, make sure that assistive touch is already on, go to switch control, and now if I spam, you guys can see that it's spamming right in between the sold out and that description. So in theory, this is exactly where, you know, <laughs> for a future drop, you would want to be lining things up, okay? Right between that description and that other section there. All right, so that as soon as that buy now button pops up, you can go ahead and already have had this, you know, sequence to spam, okay? Every time that you click this screen, all right, if I click it once, it's gonna do that sequence of five or six clicks, all right? So take this in. When the drop is counting down, you see three, two, usually at around the two second mark is when I will start to spam click anywhere on my phone screen, all right? Because it's gonna run that sequence. But I'm gonna go ahead and spam this six times, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six. It's gonna continue to clap or to, cl to clap. It's gonna continue to click even after I've stopped hitting the screen, okay? So every time that you click the screen, it is going to initiate one sequence. So in theory, you could sit here for five minutes straight just spam clicking and this thing will probably go for the next two hours, all right? So if any of you guys play like fucking cookie clicker, that's great, <laughs> okay, you can do that. But this is of course for VB, you know, you don't wanna be having this thing over spamming because then when you do get the drop, you're not gonna be able to go ahead and click buy now, okay? Again, guys, this is just a little uh, a quick tutorial for the auto clicker part. It works tremendously for blind boxes as long as you follow all the other drop day tips. Now, the last thing I'm gonna show you guys is pretty much the same thing, but for drops that do already have the buy now button. If you're like me and you have multiple devices, odds are it's hard for you to line up where exactly that buy now button is across four or five phones at a time. So this is a huge, huge, huge tip for you guys that are using iOS devices that don't wanna have like your sister or your brother who's like younger and kind of shit experience drops doing it for you, okay? So what you're gonna do is go over here. We're gonna create a new recipe now that we've got that auto clicker. So create a new recipe. I'm gonna name this one single tap. This is phenomenally well, or, or you know, works phenomenally well for drops that are like comics or single collectibles that are not in blind box format. Because for those of you guys that don't know, usually when it comes to spamming the buy now button, even lining it up with the okay, you know, that was the thing that we talked about in previous tip day or drop day tip videos. It doesn't work as well as just timing it now, okay? So single tap, I'm gonna assign a switch, full screen, custom gesture, all right? And I'm gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna triple click, assistive touch. We're gonna jump back over here and this time, I know where the buy now button is because this isn't a blind box. It's gonna say drops and then the countdown timer right here. 
So this time, this is where my finger is going to be lined up with, where it says sold out. You know, again, not super ideal because this is a drop that already happened, but you guys get the point. I'm gonna go ahead and just delete this screenshot. I'm holding down my finger on sold out, coming back over to the custom gesture thing, clicking once and clicking save right away. One tap, save right away. One tap, save right away. Now I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna choose launch recipe and single tap. And now if we go over to here, I'm gonna triple click, choose switch control. And now anytime I click the screen, it is only going to click once. So for every one touch on my screen, it's going to do one click, okay? But it's going to be, I can touch anywhere on the screen and it's gonna click in that one spot. So imagine you have four or five devices on a table and instead of, you know, instead of you having to stress out a few seconds before the drop to click that buy now button because you don't have you know, the perfect lineup for certain fingers, just go ahead and do this. This is something that I do for every single drop and it just makes it a lot easier for me to secure drops on multiple devices. And guys, the more devices that you have, as you all are probably aware, the better chances you are going to have at securing any drops. The drops are getting way, you know, way more hectic now. That's the whole point of me making this video. Hopefully you guys can, you know, use these tips to go ahead and secure some drops. Um, again, you know, if you're trying to go home and you have the switch control activated, just make sure that you're triple clicking your power button or your home button, depending on what generation iPhone you have or iPad, you know, <laughs> no discrimination, you know what I'm saying? I got an iPad too. <laughs> but um, with that being said, guys, that's pretty much the tutorial. So guys, hopefully that made sense. Okay, that is going to wrap up the video. I'm gonna stop the screen recording here. Hopefully this video gives you guys some crazy, crazy breakthroughs. All right, this was something that allowed me to take my drop game to the next level. We gotta at least give ourselves a little bit of an edge over the bots as these bots are getting shut down. Again, I just wanna preface this again. Well, I guess it's not a preface because a preface is at the beginning of the video. I just wanna say this one more time at the end of the video, guys. If you don't feel comfortable doing this, if you're afraid your account's gonna get banned, whatever, don't do it, okay? Don't do it, okay? It's as simple as that. If you really wanna go through the effort of making a brand new account every drop or every week for whatever many, however many devices you have, you can do that and, and sell the collectibles, whatever you want, okay? But from my experience, I've been doing this for a number of months, literally since I found out about this, and I've had no issue, I haven't been banned, I haven't even been marketplace banned, and I think the reason for that is because it's in the accessibility settings. It's not a real auto clicker that's outside that's an external app, it's literally in the settings on your phone. But with that being said, guys, if you did find some value in today's video, go ahead and let me know in the comments. Any questions, I'll be sure to get back to you guys. Show some love, smash that like button, smash the subscribe button as well for all content that is related to VV, finance, crypto as a whole, but also just personal lifestyle. I'm gonna be putting out a lot of videos, uh, some, some more vlog type videos in the future here. And I do stream on both Twitch and on YouTube just about every single week. So with that being said, guys, much love. Donnie signing off. Peace out.